This is Who Would Win? Tyrannosaurus Rex versus Velociraptor by Jerry Pallotta, illustrated by Rob Bolster. Let's go back millions of years. What would happen if a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a Velociraptor met each other? What if both of these dinosaurs were hungry or if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? Pterosaurs. Millions of years ago, three types of huge creatures lived on Earth. Pterosaurs flew in the sky. Did you know pterosaur means winged lizard? Plesiosaurs. Fact, plesiosaur means close to a lizard. Plesiosaurs swam in the ocean. Remember, there were also other types of ocean-going reptiles. Mosasaurs, Isothosaurs, Pliosaurs, and Nothosaurs. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs walked on land. Definition. Dinosaur means terrifying lizard. Some dinosaurs walked on two legs while others walked on four. Today, pterosaurs, plesiosaurs, and dinosaurs are extinct, which means they died out. Scientific name. Tyrannosaurus rex means tyrant lizard king. For short, let's call him T-Rex. Meet Tyrannosaurus rex. It had a huge head, sharp teeth, big back legs, and teeny front arms. Just looking at one is scary. No one really knows what color it was. What do you think? Fun fact, lizards today come in many colors. Some even can change color. Tyrannosaurus rex could have been almost any color. Question, were they hot pink? Nah, probably not. What if? Maybe they were green, like an iguana of today. Scientific name, Velociraptor means speedy thief. Let's call him Raptor. Meet Velociraptor. Paleontologists think it looked like this. Velociraptor seems to be built for speed and quick attack. Fun fact, a paleontologist studies prehistoric life. Interesting fact, prehistoric means before recorded history. Fossils. T-Rex was discovered in modern times by people who found its fossils. Here's a photograph of the excavation site where this T-Rex was found. Definition. A fossil is the preserved remains of a dead animal or plant. Fun fact, the largest and most complete T-Rex skeleton discovered is named Sue. It was found by and named after Sue Hendrickson, a paleontologist. Raptors were discovered the same way. Geologists and paleontologists found their fossilized bones. Did you know, a geologist studies the history of Earth and its rocks. Bonus fact, a new generation of dinosaur hunters has been looking for dinosaur DNA. This raptor fossil was found next to a prototeratops that it was fighting. Both dinosaurs died in this real life who would win. Here's a full T-Rex skeleton. When scientists assembled its fossilized bones, they learned that T-Rex walked on two legs. Interesting fact, a newborn T-Rex skeleton has never been discovered. Maybe you will be the person who unearths it. Did you know? Fossilized T-Rex footprints have never showed tail marks. This indicates that T-Rex did not drag its tail while walking or running. Here is a full raptor skeleton. Its fossilized bones look skinnier and more mobile than the T-Rex skeleton. Definition: When all the bones and joints are placed properly, it is called an articulated skeleton. Fun fact, some paleontologists now think the Velociraptor had feathers on its body. Raptor trivia. Velociraptor is a member of a family of dinosaurs called dromaeosaurids. A dromaeosaurid means swift lizard. T-Rex had a huge jaw with more than 50 teeth. Its teeth were not designed for eating vegetables. It had carnivore teeth as sharp as knives. Did you know? Carnivores eat meat. Herbivores eat plants. Dino trivia. When dinosaur fossils were first found in China, people thought they were ancient dragon bones. T-Rex had a small brain. What did it think about? The raptor also had a mouthful of sharp teeth. That means it was a meat eater too. Question, would you want to be this dinosaur's dentist? Remember, proportionally a raptor has a larger brain than a T-Rex. A raptor's teeth point inward to trap its prey. Some scientists think the T-Rex was a brutal hunter. It had the size, teeth, and design to be an apex predator. It is hard to believe that any animal would want to challenge a T-Rex. Definition: An apex predator is an animal that has no natural enemies. Gross fact. Carrion is the rotting body of a dead animal. Other scientists think that T-Rex was not aggressive, but it was a carrion eater. Instead of hunting, it roamed for animals that were already dead. The raptor was a predator that most likely hunted and ate smaller animals. 
It probably hunted in packs. Scientists think it hunted by ambushing its prey. Definition, an ambush is, a, is an attack by surprise. What do you think? A group of raptors, should we call them a bunch, a gang, a pack, a flock, a click, a crash, a rumble, a storm, a herd, or something else? T-Rex foot. Boom, boom, boom. That is what a walking T-Rex sounded like. The ground would shake, alerting nearby animals. Boom, boom, boom. There's a one toe, that's a horse, two toads, sloth, three toes, rhinoceros, four toes, a chicken, and five toes, a human. Question, how is a T-Rex like a chicken? They both have four toes on each foot. Raptor foot. Paleontologists think the raptor was sneaky and quiet as it walked. A raptor probably tiptoed before attacking. It differs from other dinosaurs because it had a sickle on each foot. Sickle theory number one. Did the raptor use its sickles to slash and cut its prey? Sickle theory number two. Or were sickles used as grips to climb trees? Was the raptor a tree climber? What do you think? T-Rex arms. The small arms of a T-Rex seem almost useless. What could it do with them? A T-Rex had only two fingers on each hand. In a football game, the T-Rex would fumble the ball. Raptor arms. Handy fact. People have nails on their fingers and toes. Dinosaurs had claws. The hands of a raptor have huge claws. Gross fact. A raptor's arms and hands seem perfect for a dinosaur that is an aggressive hunter. Quick, long, and strong. A raptor could easily rip apart its prey. Raptors had three fingers on each hand. The middle finger was the longest and the first finger was the shortest. Tyrannosaurus rex tail. Dino trivia. The first dinosaur fossil ever discovered was a Megalosaurus. Interesting fact. T-Rex walked on two legs, its tail balancing its body and huge head. The T-Rex used its tail for balancing, but it may have also used it as a weapon. Getting whacked by its whip tail could not have been fun. Velociraptor tail. Dino trivia. The largest raptor ever discovered is the Utah raptor. It is 20 feet long. Dinosaur tails. Clubbed, Ankylosaurus. Jagged, Polacanthus. Spiked, Stegosaurus. Some dinosaur experts now think that the raptor's tail may have been straight and stiff. Why did dinosaurs die out? Well, here are some theories. They didn't look both ways before crossing the street. Did it? They texted while driving. Did it? One skated, one skated, one skateboard stunt too many. Did it? Too many video games turn their brain to mush. Okay. They like to climb up trees, but they didn't know how to climb. Okay. Aliens from other galaxies went hunting on Earth and wiped out all of the dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. Scientific theories on dinosaur extinction. Asteroid collision. A giant meteor hit Earth and changed its climate. Rise of small animals. Small sneaky animals started eating dinosaur eggs faster than new eggs could be hatched. Food chain imbalance. The larger dinosaurs had trouble finding enough food and started eating each other. Heavy volcanic activity. So much soot and dust erupted into the air that sunshine was blocked and plants died. The plant eaters didn't have enough to eat. Eventually the meat eaters had no plant eaters to eat. Ice age. The earth became too cold. Disease. New infections, colds, and viruses attacked the dinosaurs. What if a T-Rex had a fight with a raptor? Who do you think would win? Did you know a T-Rex was 42 feet long and 13 feet high at the hips? It may have weighed 7 tons. Here comes a T-Rex to face off with the raptor. It's not a fair fight. The T-Rex is much bigger. But the raptor doesn't seem to be afraid. It does not run away. The raptor must have a secret. Just as the T-Rex is about to fight, the quick raptor leaps onto its back. The raptor slices the T-Rex with its sickles. The angry T-Rex bucks, and the raptor gets flung into the air. Interesting fact, a raptor was only about three to four feet high, not much taller than a third grader. The raptor gets right back up and jumps on the T-Rex's tail. It slashes the T-Rex, but it gets knocked to the ground again. The raptor starts making a squeaking sound. The T-Rex charges the little dinosaur. This time the T-Rex is fed up. Squeak, squeak, cries the raptor. The raptor get out to, gets out its message. A pack of raptors comes to the rescue. The T-Rex steps on one, then it rips it up with its teeth. But now the T-Rex is in trouble. What seemed like an easy fight has turned into a battle for survival. One 
two, or even three raptors are no problem. But more than ten? The raptor pack slashes and cuts the T-Rex. It's over. The T-Rex crashes to the ground. It makes no sense to fight a pack animal. If it was a one-on-one -on -one fight, the huge T-Rex would easily beat a raptor. But nature doesn't always present a fair fight. The end.